We're on our way to get piggies. I'm excited. What are we getting? Uh, Berkshire? Uh, Berk uh, Duroc Cross. Berk Duroc Cross. And they are about eight or nine weeks old now. I'll have to double check. They look, they look pretty big. We're hoping to get two little girls this year instead of boys that we got last time. Let's see those. Yeah, I wonder if they're... Yeah. Yeah. Field. It'd be nice if we could get some irrigation set up so that we can grow some stuff in the field better. Her pickup. I had her pick up the mom today, so she's going. Piggy, piggy! Hi, kids! my help as well. One down. Hey, you too. Hello, little girls. A waddle. Actually, there's a waddle mix. Sweetie, you gotta turn around. I don't think they remember the last piggies. Yeah, I was wondering if I got that little waddle. Oh, look at the goats. What is that, guys? <laughs> Look at them. Oh, junipers. That's why look at their tails. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you see how juniper jumped that's, up there? That's on alert. That tail right there means alert. I like their little hooks. I'll have some greens to nibble on for a little bit. Oh, check to make sure that water works. I didn't. <laughs> Chickens are freaked out. <laughs> Look at him. He won't even go near him. <laughs> the curiosity of animals. What are you guys chewing on now? I don't know. Sounds like something hard. Boats are all worked up over this. And they're so far across the field now, they can't see what's going on. All right, so here's to give some perspective. The chickens have this whole area along their coop and down the back of the shed there, the pigs. They're gonna start off here, um, close. They have a little house right here, closer to the water. And then the goats are across the field over there. You can see them really curious. <laughs> And eventually, I would like to move the pigs 
back there like I talked about in one of my last videos. <laughs> so I let the goats out over here so they could see the piggies. Oh, the piggies ran. They scare them off. <laughs> Are you guys scared of those little piggies? Well, they've been home a couple days now and I'm out here just trying to get them to come eat out of my hand. They're still skittish. They've been making themselves at home. Their little hut. Finding all kinds of grubs and digging holes. After the girls got settled in, they started to do this weird spasm. And I looked into it more and it looked like it might just be due to stress. And after a few days, they were no longer doing it. All right, now that the girls are all settled, I've got some light reading to do. Pulled some books off the shelf I'm gonna be looking into. I've been reading them a little bit over the last couple weeks. Raising pigs successfully, small scale pig raising, and then the Foxfire book. This one's good. This one talks about more of the butchering process and how to slaughter our own hogs. This was a gift from my father-in-law, a little bit older. And then The Backyard Homestead. This is one of my favorites so far that I've ever read. Um, it's one of the first homesteading books that, that I picked up and it's um, produce all the food you need on just a quarter acre. So when we lived at our last house, um, it was on a quarter acre in city limits. So that's kind of how we got started. And talks about raising pigs and um, what I love the most about this is that it it kind of shows you how much can you produce on a tenth of an acre, quarter acre, half acre, and different ways that you can plot out your land to make it the most successful. So I know that our three quarters of an acre we have not um, fully even begun to utilize. We have a lot. We're, we're going to start planting the garden today. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoy the content and like this video.